This is InfoLife TV headline news, March 10th. I'm Margot Dutkevich. A radical Iranian group that calls themselves the Islamic Student Justice Seekers offered financial reward to those who killed Defense Minister Hood Barak, Mossad Chief Mayor Dagan, and Head of Military Intelligence Major General Amos Yadlin. At a rally in Tehran on Sunday, the group said it blamed the Israeli officials for the suffering of the Palestinian people and the death of Hezbollah arch terrorist Imad Munir. Hamas denied Sunday that it had reached understandings with Israel over a truce, but confirmed that Egypt was playing a role in trying to achieve a ceasefire. A claim that a secret deal had been struck between Israel and Hamas was emphatically denied by Israel, who said its position concerning Hamas has not changed. The current Lal Israeli security official said stems from Hamas instructions to its operatives to halt rocket fire on southern Israel. The Palestinian Authority lashed out at Israel's plans to build 350 apartments in Givat Zev, a community north of Jerusalem, and 750 homes in the Pisgat Zev neighborhood of East Jerusalem, and sought U.S. intervention to halt the construction. Palestinian negotiator Sayyid Barikat declared the decision was a slap in the face to Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. The Melkaza Rav Yeshiva in Jerusalem has turned down a request by the Prime Minister's office to pay a condolence visit. At a press conference Sunday, Rabbi Yaakov Shapiro declared the Torah is the roadmap. If there is no Torah, there is no spiritual fortitude and physical endurance lacks as well. We are constantly defending ourselves in the face of our enemies, he said. The Tel Aviv Stock Exchange closed early Sunday due to work sanctions by the exchange's employees. But many investors said with a smile that it may have been a good thing as the markets fell sharply and it would have only been worse if it had lasted longer.